Hey, this is Jay with Royal Land Company. i uh, got another walkthrough video I wanted to share. Uh, this is a bigger property than what we normally have on our website. Uh, this is an 11 acre parcel. Uh, generally, we list these with a realtor uh, and just let them handle it. But uh, we wanted to, to give it a try and, and give everybody, uh, you know, that's been so supportive on our website, first chance at this thing. So uh, it's in Morgan County, Missouri. Uh, here's St. Louis, Kansas City, Springfield down to the south. If we zoom in a little bit, here's Lake of the Ozarks. So on the north end of Lake of the Ozarks, here's Morgan County, uh, Versailles up to the north. Out of Versailles, this is Highway W that runs uh, northwest to southeast. Um, that if you put this property into mapping software, it may try to bring you up by the east. Uh, you don't want to do that. These are really rough roads. Um, they may be drivable uh, if if you have a, a big 4x4, but they're real rutted up and really rough. Uh, you for sure want to come through the, the east side of the property. Uh, off of Highway W, what uh, mapping programs call Lake Road W-3, uh the the signage on it actually calls it golden beach and this this is what it looks like got all these other signs back behind it so it's real easy to find uh, if you'll come back to the east there um, and follow along you're going to turn back to the north here on uh, grinnell road and then as soon as you make that north you're going to make an immediate left down Twisted Tree Road. I've got a couple pictures of those signs as well, so you can kind of picture it. Uh, this row of mailboxes. This is Grinnell, and here's Twisted Tree back to the left there immediately. So, so you want to make that turn, and you're going to follow Twisted Tree all the way back. So this is Twisted Tree that kind of comes up to the north. It's a you know good gravel road, uh, curves around and bends around. Uh, keep on following it, and if I zoom in uh, over here close to the property, uh, the gravel ends at, uh, at at this this person's property, uh, but Twisted Tree keeps on going uh, into a two-track, kind of comes into the woods, and you will know you're there uh, because the road actually says road closed. Uh, so if, if you get to, to this point, and this is what it looks like, you're at the right place. Keep on going. Uh, and I'm going to show you some pictures here in a little bit and why they have that road closed sign there. Uh, but let's get back into Google Earth for a little bit more about this property. Like I said, uh, so that's right here. So this is just like, I don't know, a couple hundred yards further down to, to where our property starts. Uh, you'll, you'll notice immediately kind of this big cedar glade here where it's open, um, you know, real thin grass. It's, it's pretty. Uh, there is a, a high line right of way that, that cuts across all of this, including, you know, this corner of our property. Uh, but even out of that right of way down to the south is, is more of that open cedar glade. Uh, with just, you know, natural vegetation and, and lots of, uh, you know, wildflowers. And it's it's a pretty area. Um, this is a 11 acre property that um, I am actually going to come over. Uh, let's get rid of that pin. And um, let's, let's look at this uh, actually a couple of years back. Uh, just because it's a different time of the year and, and you're able to, uh, to see things a whole lot easier without all the leaves on the tree. So uh, get rid of this. we'll zoom in here a little bit so we can take a look at this property. You can see it, it's got a pretty good slope to it. Um, you know, this, this is all downhill, uh, the twisted tree road that, that comes down. And right down here, I'll show you some pictures of it here in a second. Uh, there is a low water bridge, uh, you know, just concrete slab uh, across the creek. Um, and that that is the corner of where this property is. Up here on uh, on this northeast corner, um, it's, it's actually by GPS closer to uh, one of these cedar trees, and uh, and I tied some ribbon in the tree to, to help you find it when you go look at it. And again, I'll show you some pictures, but I, I wanted to zoom in a little bit in Google Earth and, and show you this creek that runs all the way across the property. 
and also kind of show you the topography of it. Um, you know, it's it's not a flat parcel by any means, um, but uh, it's it's certainly walkable. Um, and if, if, if you're looking for a place, you know, to, to camp or maybe hunt, um, I, I think you could do a whole lot worse than this property. So let's get in and we'll, we'll actually look at some pictures. Uh, so you drive past that sign and uh, we've got one of our signs up to, to help you be sure to identify it. Here it is. Um, so here's that, that cedar glade I was talking about, all the wildflowers. Um, here's the, that northeast uh, property boundary, pretty close to there anyway. Uh, you can see the, the power line right of way. Um, and then this is looking back up that road that we came down to get here. So this, this is looking backwards, uh, back up towards the road close sign. That's uh, another sign of the, or another picture of the opening um, and that high line right of way that uh, this was from the the previous owner uh, you know had uh, had the property uh, posted keep trespassers off of it um, so this is standing down in this corner and get us back up to where north is up and down uh, so I'm, I'm standing down in here and looking back up this way for the next couple of pictures So, and then I, I started walking down uh, Twisted Tree Road, down the, the northern property boundary. And this is that, that low water crossing I was talking about. So our northwest corner of the property is somewhere right in here. At, uh, this is that, that creek. These pictures were taken uh, the last week of July, first week of August. Uh, and there, you know, was still some water in there. Um, as you can see, you know, there's uh, deer tracks all over the place down through there. And, and so wildlife is, is pretty abundant. Um, this is standing on that little water crossing and looking back up Twisted Tree Road. You can see how washed out this thing, how rutted it is. Uh, that's the reason that road close sign is up there and also the reason that even though uh, Google Maps or uh, you know Apple Maps may try to bring you from the east side to uh, to this property you don't want to follow those directions that, that uh, you're gonna have to drive through a lot of, of this kind of road uh, between the lake road and in this property so you're, you're way better off coming from the uh, east uh, and taking Twisted Tree Road um, to uh, to this property. So, uh, at, uh, then I think I've got another picture walking back up and looking uh, at the, the High Line easement from, um, let's see, so come back up to current date so you can see the trees. So, I was standing somewhere in here, uh, you know, taking a picture back in in this direction um that i i think this is going to be a really good property for somebody uh you know this is a, a county property um morgan county so there are absolutely no restrictions on it uh you can you know build or uh set a camper uh set a trailer you know be advised that there there are no utilities back there the the closest power lines are up here at at this house uh, so I, I think that that's, that would be the direction that the power company would, uh, would have to bring you power. Um, you know, you'd, uh, if you wanted to drill a well or anything like that, um, that, that would be other things to investigate. Uh, but, but this is a really good property if, if you're looking, uh, you know, for, for pretty sizable acreage, uh, off the grid a little bit. And if you have any questions, uh, you want to go take a look at this thing, certainly don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be happy to, uh, to send you a Google My Maps uh, to, to show you exactly how to get there. Um, or if you've got any other questions, certainly reach out. At, uh, I think we've got this thing priced to sell at $22,000, just $2,000 an acre. Um, and we are going to offer owner financing on this property with a $10,000 down payment. 
And so we'll, uh, we'll finance mm-hmm. the remaining $12,000 on the purchase price. Um, at uh, Check out our website for the full terms and details of that. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I expect to sell it pretty quick. If you're interested, let me know, and, uh, and we'll get you out there to take a look at it and walk it. And, uh, and then hopefully uh, you can be the owner of this thing. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.